What's going on guys, your boy Apathy! Back here with another video and today I got some great news for you guys. I just joined Team Liquid, you guys can see in the description, in the title, everything, I joined Liquid. It's fucking awesome, I've been waiting to announce this for so long, you know. And the thing is, I kind of want to uh, go through the breakdown, I want to break down the story. Like, I'm going to tell you guys pretty much what happened from the beginning till the end to right now so you guys can kind of understand what was kind of happening and to fill, fill you in guys because I love being honest to fans, to supporters, to everyone who is subscribed to my channel and everything. I love being honest to you guys and I love telling you the truth completely. A lot of you guys know I'm real, I'm very honest, you know, whether sometimes it can be a little bit bad on me, you guys may portray me as a different person or whatever you guys want to think, but I don't care too much about that. I just like being real and being honest to everybody and all of you guys. So pretty much what happened, let me go back to the start. So pretty much what happened, uh, you know, it was me, Study, Dito, and Center going to the qualifier. We got to the last match, we had to play LG, unfortunately we didn't perform like we wanted to. Uh, certain players didn't play as well as they wanted to and as they should have and we ended up not qualifying now You know realistically uh, After you don't qualify, there's not much to do You know you're you you can get become a sub for a team which I did I'm a sub for elevate and then from there you can just keep playing You know form a team for the challenger division and play those tournaments that are gonna be Hosted probably a couple and I know there's a UMG one coming up in a month but you know there's not realistically there's not much you can do after not qualifying twice after having two tries and not qualifying and getting this pretty good offer I realized you know what you know things are just working on this team I, I wanted to stay with Doug like I said I told you in my previous video when I talked about re getting released from E6 I thought he was a very good player you know I love Doug uh, I'm really good friends with him and I wanted to stay with him but realistically you know, I wanted to move on from E6. I wanted to get on a better. Uh, not E6 is a great org. Don't don't. You know, it just Liquid is offering so much, and I couldn't just I couldn't refuse that offer. I couldn't turn down an offer, and you know, to start off fresh, start off with a new team that I think you know we could perform, we could get back into the league. So that's pretty much what I what what was in my mind at the time, and then C9 hit me up. Now C9 was currently Mochilla and Mochilla and Silly and Burns and Merc were the other fourth. I think Burns and Merc were trying to get on a league team. So therefore, I was waiting, I was waiting, you know, I was supposed to join C9. I waited for about a week or two, it never happened. And you know, due to that not happening, but be, oh God, it's so much information, I, it's so hard to explain everything. But before, once uh, we didn't qualify, Liquid also hit me up. You know, Caleb, he's like one of the people that work with Liquid. And he talked to me about forming a team. And I was pretty interested. You know, they, like I said, they're offering a lot. But things look like it weren't going to happen because Merck and Burns got an offer to join the league team. And I thought that was going to happen. So my plan was to join C9 with Silly and, and Moach and then find one. We didn't know who we were going to pick up. We, we originally wanted to pick up Doug. But like I, like I mentioned in my previous video, it's pretty hard to pick up Doug with all his branding issues and all of that. We're really working on that. So then, um, you know, later on, about a week, a week and a half later, uh, Merkins and Burns hit me up, and they tell me, you know, their plans are probably not going to go through. You you want to form a team on the Liquid, and you know, after seeing what what Liquid's offering, and this is probably my best bet in getting back to the league. I think we have a really solid team. We just need to practice, we need to play. I was like, you know what? I'm down, dude. You know, this is this is going to be a good team. It's going to be a good opportunity. Let's do it. So after moving, you know, I was never really on C9. It was it was never officially announced by C9 or by anyone. I never changed my hat to C9. That was kind of my plan. But then once I got this off from Liquid, you know, I strayed away from C9. People were asking me, what team are you on? What org are you on? I'm like, I would either say no one or I'd say on C9, but not officially, because that's kind of what is the truth. Like I'm I was never officially officially on C9. You know, I never changed my ad. I had C9 Apathy. I had the ad, the original ad the whole time. I just never changed it because I didn't want to do anything official yet. And, you know, I ended up joining Liquid. Uh, I've been pretty much, this has been the team for a week now. We just never, we, we had to talk with Liquid. We need to have, get the contracts out. You know, things were still in works with Merck and Burns had to get out their contracts. And this contract, it was just a big mess. But we finally did it. You know, this is going to be a squad. It's going to be me, Burns, Study, and Merck. Uh, I think we have a great squad, you know, I obviously bring a lot to the team when it comes to slaying, uh, you know, just getting getting a lot of control on the map, you know, slaying, roaming, you know what I do, you guys know what I do, you guys, a lot of you guys watch me play every day or watch my YouTube videos or watch my stream, and then Burns is kind of like that OBJ role, you know, he's very dedicated, very determined to win, I love that about him, he could, he could be a little too much sometimes, like sometimes, you know, he needs to understand, just relax, you know, have some fun, enjoy the game. Sometimes he goes too hard, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but can kill the vibe sometimes. 
and I just I like but what I like about him is like I said he's very determined he's very motivated you know he really wants to win and he just brings that OBJ presence you know he gets a lot of important kills that he needs to get and you know he's been playing really good and then Merck obviously is like our leader uh you know I I've been playing almost the same amount of time as he has he's only like a couple months older than me but you know he's he's definitely one more events than me he's definitely probably um, more knowledgeable than me in, in Call of Duty, so that's a good thing. You know, he's more brings more of that leader presence, and he's like our anchor AR. And then Study is like the second AR. You know, he just does his thing, slays around, and does what he does. He's, he's just Study, but you know, he's a clutch player, and I, I love that about him. So overall, we have a really good team. Uh, we're going to UMG, South Carolina, in like four weeks, three weeks. I don't even know. It's it's 12. What's today? It's like four weeks, 28 days, something like that. We're gonna be going there. It's gonna be exciting. You know, I'm very excited for the squad. I. I have high hopes, you know, we've been scrimming a lot lately, we've been looking very nice, playing on hosts and off hosts, we've been playing really good both, and you know, I've been playing really good myself, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of the way I've been playing lately, um, after not qualifying, you know, I put in a lot of time before not even qualifying, uh, I could have played better during qualification, but I thought I played pretty consistent, pretty good, and you know, after not qualifying, I took like a break, a uh, day or day and a half off. I was I was pretty pissed. I was like, you know, upset. And then after that, I got back. Uh, I started grinding eight to twelve hours every single day. And it, the first couple days were like eight hours, nine hours, seven hours, eight hours. And then after like a couple days, I just started playing like twelve hours, thirteen hours, ten hours, eleven hours every single day. And it's just that amount of time, that amount, you know, putting into the game and really trying to master my craft and perfect my skill. And when you play that much, like. You just have so much knowledge. You know what to do, what not to do. You know, you know you're right from wrongs. You you learn from your mistakes, and you know, like I play wagers all the time. When I play SD, I'm like, all right, I can't do this. If I do this, I'll probably die. I know what to do in certain situations. I know what to do in certain plays. I know what to push, what not to push. I know my odds of getting out here alive. Not so. It's like the more you play, it's like trial and error. Like you learn. Okay, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I could do this though, and it's just it's a way of improving. And I just been putting so much time. I've been playing so much. And that's why I've been playing really good that's just how I've always been you know and for the most part that's how almost everybody works you know um, the more time you put in the more hard work you put in the more the better results you're gonna get and that's just how it is you know hard work does pay off and that's only a fact so I'm very proud to be and uh, liquid it's gonna be a great team great org uh, we're gonna go hard as fuck get back into the challenger league hopefully in South Carolina place at least top six top four that would be sick and just impress you guys. Uh, I've been going really hard. I'm continuing to go hard. You know, play a lot every single day. Uh, put in a lot of effort. You guys are going to see it on my stream, YouTube, whatever. You guys can check out my stream. I stream pretty much every day. I should be getting partnered either, to, to, probably not today. I should be getting partnered tomorrow. So that's a great news on Twitch. That should be fun. Start getting my subs. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I know this is a pretty long vlog. vlog. But I really wanted to say everything that was on my mind. So, I uh, hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apti, and I'm out. Peace.